Lisa from Imagineif Columbia Falls. Um, you're at home with Imagineif and we're gonna do some more science today. So, remember last time when we made slime, we did some chemistry? We're gonna do some more chemistry because chemistry is pretty cool. Chemistry is fun. So, um, chemistry is all about the properties of matter. Remember the things are a solid, this is pretty solid. Um, they could be a liquid. So we've got some water here, liquid. Um, all around us, there's the air. It's a gas. So solids, liquids, and gases, they usually stay in their same state, right? They follow the rules. You remember, they don't all follow the rules. Remember these? Non-Newtonian fluids. They do not follow the rules. They're rule breakers. You know any rule breakers? Yeah. So Newton, smart guy, he made up a bunch of rules. And one of his rules was about... Viscosity. What now? Viscosity. So viscosity is a property that all liquids have. It's just the rate that they flow at. So water, again, pretty flowy, right? Like if you tip it, it's gonna flow. If I pour it out, it's gonna flow pretty fast. Faster than say, I don't know, honey. Honey is more viscous. If you pour it, it goes kind of slow. So um, the thing about most liquids is they stick to their same viscosity no matter what you do. If I squeeze this water, is it gonna flow more like honey? No, because it follows the rules, right? Most liquids follow the rules. But today we are going to make a non-Newtonian fluid. In fact, right here, I have a non-Newtonian fluid in my bowl. It's called, I need my little card. It's called Ublek. I didn't make that up. Uh, actually, Dr. Seuss made that up. Um, he wrote a book about a kid, a very bored kid. Imagine a kid being bored. Imagine that. A very bored kid who decided to make it rain um, green goo from the sky. So that's what he did. And the oobleck, he called it oobleck. But So we're going to make some of this oobleck. It is a non-Newtonian fluid, but it's easy to make. You can make it in your kitchen. You'll need three things. I'm going to show you a little recipe first before we... There you go. We've got, I'm gonna hold it here. One and a half cups of cornstarch, one cup of water. That's all you need. Cornstarch, water, to make oobleck. Um, so you get your cornstarch, pour it in, get your water, and you're gonna put some food coloring in it. So I just, I already dyed my water blue because it's easier to see. Um, it's easier for you to see. So a little bit of water, and then you pour them in together, and you're gonna make your oobleck. I made mine already because it takes kind of a while to stir, and you have to go kind of slow, and I'll show you why. Because look, check this out. If I stir this oobleck fast, oops, I'll splatter. If I stir it kind of fast, see how it sort of looks a little bit like, it's kind of hard, it's almost like it's a solid, right? But if I stir it, slowly it's pretty easy in fact I'm going to show you some of this stuff Oop, that wasn't good enough let's try again see that so non-newtonian fluid I'm pretty fun to play with I'm going to show you I'm going to put my spoon in my water here I'm going to sh roll up my sleeves and get in here so non-newtonian fluids when you put pressure on them like for me, I'm going to try rolling my, my oobleck quickly. So if I roll it quickly in my hand, check this out. Can you see that? It makes a ball. I can make my oobleck into a solid by putting pressure on it, if, especially if I squeeze it. If I squeeze it or roll it. But as soon as I take that pressure off, I've got to get, as soon as I take the pressure off, check it out. It just starts rolling. It just starts flowing. So its rate of flow, its viscosity changes depending on how much pressure you put on it. And you can do all kinds of experiments with this and you can amaze your, your family. You can roll it like it's, it's almost like it's a solid. It's almost like Play-Doh when you roll it, but you can't stop rolling it because as soon as you stop rolling it, it just runs, just flows free like a, like a liquid. So that's what you can do. Make some oobleck. You'll need cornstarch and water 
and if you're going to try and persuade your your adults to let you do this make a big mess in the kitchen um, remember to tell them it's science it's chemistry um, it's all about non-newtonian fluids um, and viscosity tell me you're learning about viscosity and how non-newtonian fluids break the rules and it is really fun to play with you know what I didn't think about didn't think about how I'm gonna stop the video now that I've got all this oogalak all over my fingers but I will all right well thanks for playing um, hope you make some oogalak and see you next time